All right, hello again, everyone. This is um, Michael uh, Mars Gaming. We're gonna do another video today because I think the last time I forgot my microphone right off the bat, so I wanted to get it out. And uh, another have another video as soon as I can, um, and uh, keep this consistent as possible. Like I said, I'm trying to practice and uh, get better and better every single time. So. That's what we're going to do. Today we're playing um, Pocket Rogues. And I'm pretty excited about this game. It's um, more recent to me, but it's it's still one of the uh, older games in the, in the bunch on, on the Play Store or the App Store. Um, I'm just going to jump right in there. Um, I've played this uh, quite, a, quite a couple hours already, I'd say. Um, and this one is a, uh, it's a roguelite, um, which basically means you have one life, um, and you have to manage one, one character, um, and you get to do different class setups, though. Um, I was first introduced to games like this, um, from a guy on YouTube actually called Splattercat Gaming, uh, shout out to him, um, he does uh, like different indie games every day, and um, so he's a, he's a good inspiration of mine uh, to do what I'm doing now, actually. But um, it it was actually I don't think this game specifically, but a, a similar one, um, a pretty similar one anyway. This one is um, this is again Pocket Rogues Ultimate. I'm sure you'll see on the on the thumbnail um, whenever I get to it a little later. So I plan to just um, either play until I die. Um, speaking of that, there's an ambush. <laughs> um, or play until like the the 15 or uh, 15 or 20 minute mark, like I've been like I've been aiming for. And that's that's mostly because of rendering times. It's been taking about an um, hour and a half to two hours to make these video stops. Um, and the, the better I can get at this type of uh, 15 minute gap, I feel like I can make um, some decent content coming in, coming in the future, I guess. Um, definitely looking into uh, some upgrades to this setup soon, though. This is, uh, the gameplay is off my phone, which is, isn't doing terrible right now. It's just uh, a bigger screen might be better. <laughs> Might be in the works later, for sure. Um. <laughs> but uh, I'm having fun, of course, nonetheless, and that's uh, that's 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 why I started this whole thing. So, um. and with that being said, it, it's, it hasn't been it hasn't been bad at all. So, um. yeah. Let's just uh, keep moving and. Uh, um, right now my favorite character is the Archer, um, I have him out about level 10 if you're familiar with the game. Um, I think most of the, the attacks and everything are like 7 or something. But yeah, like I, I've gotten a little bit further in the game, uh, you, can, you have adventure packs uh, for your backpack extensions so that way you can carry more items. You know, there's all kinds of cool stuff like... Uh, like um, these uh, these slots right here, um, these are your artifact slots, and they'll know whenever you get there's like different ones called like bandage or or um, and that like gives you health, and it lets you heal, and there's other ones like like a armadillo carcass or something like that I think, um, and that lets you get like 30, 30 more defense and there's just cool stuff like that so um, you know plus attack speed but um, where I'd say the main focus to start off is with uh, just learning the character and how you know how to um, you know make the best of uh, the, the abilities that you have like this this guy is an archer of course so I'm trying to keep keep my range and you know keep locked on target of course um, 
And then distance is key. Um, and it's not gonna. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Armadillo carcass. Funny enough. It's not gonna. Um... They're not gonna. They, like I said, the enemies aren't gonna really get you if you, um, with the archer if you have in good distance. Um, as, as a key focus, and I've basically been using the same attack, but I can I can get into better attacks. Like um, they just use more mana, and uh, um, if I stick with this attack, it kind of kind of gets the job done um, a little quicker because it's the, the the quick shot. Uh, that's what that ability that I'm using now is called. But yeah, it's nice. I also have the the teleport ability. Um, you'll unlock these later on in the game. Um, and the uh, fast heal ability um, uh, after every dungeon as you've been noticing I've been using a portal or before every dungeon uh, I've been using a portal to get back to the stairs and then um, it also heals me too so yeah the, this game I mean it's, it's like 12 years old and that's why I like these kinds of older games like I've been playing like Terraria and um, I think the, the Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic again, uh, those, those are like um, 10, 12, 12 plus years old. So games like that and uh, if you see now I'm going to take out this, uh, this giant um, and it gives you some crystals thankfully. So the crystals uh, are the currency and, and actually in this one it's kind of interesting, they do like a one to one ratio I've seen. It's like hundred crystals to like twenty thousand gold or something and then you can change the twenty thousand gold to to back to a hundred crystals if you ever wanted to because you can buy different things with either or so it's just pretty cool that they did that um, kind of backwards um, um, compatibility I suppose so yeah basically you want to stay on target of course and uh, keep moving forward I mean, you only got one life, so you got to make the best of it, right? So, and these are these are really good. It's a that um, that was an experience boost, but it's that one's a timer, so you have to take out enemies and um, perfect timing. <laughs> you got a, another ambush. Um, so uh, the experience is on a timer. Um, some of them they just give you flat out 250 experience for the next levels. And all these levels are, 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 are proprietary to this one life in this character um, as you're leveling up. So, yeah, uh, I think after level 5 in, in the catacombs, there's there's a boss that, I, that I'm going to fight in a little bit. Actually, funny enough, there's a boss here, um, and it's the pumpkin gates. Um, so... I'll go ahead and try to see if I can take out this guy. I have a couple times, but like I said, um, you want to keep distance uh, and time out your attacks to you know make the best of uh, make the best of your moves um, and don't let him get you, of course. Uh, but if you see, this is like I think Pumpkinhead Jack the Hunter level four, or is that? I think that's four. Yeah, I IV is four, so. Um, I've been taking out these guys a couple different times, um, and and they respawn on you, and that's that's what I, that's what I was getting into. Is a is they definitely um, uh, yeah. so as as you as you play along, they, they they definitely get a lot tougher. Is what I was gonna say. So you definitely have to um, stay focused on on some of these, and and I did get the the ring. Looks like the Ring of Balance. Um, that's new to me. Uh, you can get, you can get those um, and and, and the enchant. Uh, I think. Did it just disappear though? That's interesting. Maybe it was on a timer. Or did I drop it? Um, interesting. I dropped it. Okay. So I went ahead and dropped it. Oops. All right, um, I'm getting kind of beat up right now, but uh, <laughs> let's see if I can get back into this and, and, and make something happen, I guess. Uh, I 
kind of think I'm going to get my butt kicked, though. <laughs> A lot of the times it has to do with the, the, the targeting right now. I don't have it set to like an auto target, so um, I'm just doing my best to, to keep it on, on target. There you go. Awesome. Looks like I got the Ranger's bow, which is good. I'm going to see if I can equip some new stuff. Arrows of uh, Barbarian. That seems like that's a good one. Increased damage by three. Yeah. Um, oh, this is obviously a powerful arrows or... Um, a little better, we're going to switch out for that one, and then we're going to get the, the reinforced bow for that. See if, um... Immunity to poison is going to be really good, because, um... The next upcoming boss is, um... It's definitely using uh, some poison materials, so... We're going to go ahead and see if this is going to work better for us. Looks like we have some better armor. Definitely some better armor there. Awesome. Awesome, so we are uh, looking uh, better off already, but we got to watch out. Oh, there's definitely plenty of health, so um, we'll just go ahead and uh, health up really quickly. Um, and then we'll move on from here in a minute. I'm getting at 11 and a half minutes right now, so let's see if I can get to that final boss and then... Um, um, We'll go from there. Awesome. So I just got some more stuff. We'll go through it for a second. Okay, so that's cool. I got some health potions. I'm gonna maybe need those for the next fight because I've gotten through that uh, the, this next catacombs boss. I forget his name. Um, through like four or five times. So he's definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult. Awesome. So if you see in the top right, I have a, a map. Um, that makes it really easy to um, kind of see what uh, see what I need to do in, in the, in, with uh, the enemies to clear the floor uh, to get better points. You're gonna need to know that. Um, Clearing, uh, clearing each level gets you a lot more coins and a lot more, um, a lot more stuff along the way. Okay, let's see here. Do do do. I was looking for that chainmail I just found. Um, oh, and there's another armadillo carcass. I might see. I have two of these on right now. I don't really need that, so I should. Um, this really quick. Ah. There we go. Um, let's see, let's get, where should it go? That on there. And then uh, let's see if this is any better. Yeah, this rusty armor is a little better um, than what I'm wearing now, so we're going to go ahead and switch that out. clear this floor as quickly as possible and then get over to the, the, the main boss fight. I don't know what that shadow was about, that was pretty interesting. I'm not too familiar with what that is. I haven't seen that before. That's interesting. Oh, uh, speaking of bandages, I'm going to need those. So, um, let's go ahead and switch those out for the, uh, the extra intelligence. Um, that should be fine. Um, and then later I can use this fang. Um, and that should summon a... Um, I should summon a pet to help me fight the final boss. And maybe this can be a nice 
<clears throat> nice playthrough I can I can come back to for a little bit. It is hitting that 15 minute mark right now though, so let's um yeah. Let's take out this final boss, I suppose. Um see what I can do. down to a good amount of health and uh, yeah I'm gonna make this look like a piece of cake I guess awesome and normally isn't that easy but uh, yeah um, I'm gonna check out these chests and then we shall uh, call it a video I suppose and um, these items. I keep dropping them though. <laughs> Sharpened arrows of the walker. Minus the damage but increases damage and max um, mana points. Reduces max HP. These are interesting arrows for sure. Increases resistance to normal attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and equip those actually. Those look pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and equip our character and then I'm gonna end off the video here. Um, yeah this was a solid run. For now, actually, this is good. we're gonna keep this going. Um, I might get another video out tonight or um, pause this here. I'm not too sure just yet. It is uh, running on one o'clock in the morning, so um, yeah, we shall pause it here. I'm gonna get this vid uh, video rendered, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Mars Gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, yeah. Uh, subscribe, I guess, like, uh, comment, you know, do all that good stuff, so.